Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out a few new products that I've picked up recently and then trying to go for a natural look, so we'll see what happens. Um, so let's get started. First I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredient, and skin revivers. So this is one of the new products I've just picked up. And I've used it a couple times and it smells really good. So just going to get a pump, dot it all over my face, and then smooth it in. It feels really good and it smells amazing. I love coconut, so... Alright, so once that's all rubbed in, sets a little bit, I'm going to go in with my Eye Duty Triple Remedy from First Aid Beauty under my eyes to cover up some of these dark circles. And then just going to rub it in with a little applicator. And this feels so nice. It's really cooling. And it feels really gentle, so that's nice. I don't feel like I'm tugging at my eye. I'm just patting out some of the excess around my under eye really gently. Alright. And then I'm going to go in and cover up some of those red spots or other dark places with this Pro Conceal from LA Girl in green, obviously. I get really red around my nose, so I'm just going to go in and color correct some of those spots. A little spot on my forehead. So next I'm going to go in with the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. This is another new product I just picked up and I've used it a couple times and so far I really like the finish of it. I get oily around my forehead and nose so I was a little nervous to try something glowy but it's worked out pretty well so far. And this shade is 202 and it's pretty close match for me right now. I'm really pale. Um, this isn't... This isn't exactly probably what shade I would be, but it's pretty darn close, so happy about that. So I'm just going to go in with this Real, Techni Te Real Techniques um, stipling brush and just going to start dotting it all over my face. I'm just putting a little bit extra on any places I need a little extra coverage to fill up, to fill in to cover up some spots or any discoloration. Blending it down my chin and my ears. Just a little bit. My baby hair is getting in the way. All right. So then I'm going to go in and smooth that out with my Real Technique sponge. And I've already wet this. As you can see, it's pretty big. And just patting some extra I had on my hand out just to give this a smoother finish. So next I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I just rediscovered this in my drawer. I've been using it the last couple days before like my highlighting concealer. So I'm just going to go in with the pointy tip of my sponge and just go under my um, under eye area a little bit just to counteract some of those dark spots because the, the shade I have has some yellows in it. So that's going to 
that has been working well to cover up some of those dark circles lately. I'm just going in with a little bit of product, not a lot. So then to highlight around my eyes and some of the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Naked Skin um, Concealer in Light Warm from Urban Decay. Just patting that out with my sponge again. So now that we're all concealed, I'm just going to go in with the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana under my eyes and I'm going to go in with my sponge and just get a really light amount of powder on the one side of that sponge and fix those creases I just got. <laughs> doing this a lot lately because it just gets a nice even um, light coverage under the eye and I have a really bad time with creasing under my eyes and I found lately that this, this works pretty nicely for me just to conceal those dark circles and set the concealer under my eyes. And then just going over some of those spots with any excess I have that I just highlighted and setting those. All right. That's cute. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to go in with this Real Technique Real Techniques brush and go in with my white HD finishing powder. I get really oily around my nose, so I'm just going to set that area. Okay. So next, I'm going to go in with a little highlighter. I'm going to go in with Mary Luminizer, and as you can see, it's been used quite a bit. And I'm just going in with a fan brush. along my cheekbone and right above my eyebrow just in that general area same thing on the other side dust off some of that powder where I'm going to highlight Oh yeah, can see it right there. Alright, then I'm just going to go down the bridge of my nose, just a little bit on my forehead. A little bit on my chin. Cupid's bow. So next, contouring, bronzing. Going in with my Anastasia contour kit. Again, look at that. Use it all the time. So I'm just adding some depth around my face, as you can see. Going around, going under my lip. in a hurry I will pinch my brush and just pop any excess on my nose just on the bridge of my nose right there oh 
without hitting my elbow usually. And just the bottom right there. Easy. If I want to take more time and really sculpt out my nose, I'll use like a fluffy blender brush or something, you know, smaller if I really want to get in there and then I'll just like blend it out with another brush or something. But today, this works. I'm just defining that a little bit more. It looks way harsher on the camera than it does in real life. <laughs> I'm just kind of cleaning that up a little bit with whatever's left over on my sponge. Because I do get oily, I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of setting powder just to my cheeks and my forehead. I'm going to go in and dust off the extra powder. So, so far, so good. I really like the finish of this um, foundation. It's got a really good coverage, and I don't feel like it's too glowy, and it's too matte. It's like a really nice in-between, and probably probably a bit matter um, than it regularly would be because I've used the setting powder, but because I'm oily, I definitely need that. So I'm just going to go in with one of my all-time favorites, Warm Soul, <clears throat> when in doubt, <laughs> and I'm just going to pop a little bit on my cheeks just to make me look a little bit more alive and I really like mixing blushes so after I do my eyes I might go in and add another color to see whatever matches with what I do on my eyes so I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes real quick with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer just classic I'm going to go in with the Graveyard Girl Swamp Girl palette that I just picked up from Ulta from Tarte. Ooh, this palette is so pretty. And the mirror is huge. How awesome is that? I'm going to go in first with Big Baby and just put that all over my lid just to neutralize any, you know, darkness that we have first. It's a really sheer, like, light shade if you can even see that. Alright, so then for a transition shade I'm going to go in with Natural Peaches on the same brush and just pop that around my crease. I think I'm going to try Haunting just all over my lid. Right below the crease. That's a pretty color. I like that. I don't think I have anything like it. Nice. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with some more natural peaches in the, in the crease just to blend that out a little bit more with just a smaller blending brush. clean up the edge a little bit with some of my sponge, nothing on it, just whatever's left over. Alright. I'm trying to resist some of those darker colors in here. Because <laughs> we said we were going to go for a natural look today. I think I'm going to go in now on the outer corners with a little bit of this shade right here, Uncommon. It's really pretty. These are so pigmented, like 
Look at that. And it's so shiny. Woo. So just taking a little bit of that on my brush, outer corner, just to give some more dimension. I'm actually taking some of whatever's left over in my hand because they are so pigmented. I'm just going in with this big fluffy brush around the outer corners just to add some more dimension. Alright, and then I think I need to go in with some more natural peaches just to blend that peachy color out a little bit more because I want some more of that peach. So, pretty simple natural. <laughs> this could be like an everyday so far. We'll see what else we add to it because I, these colors are just calling out to me. They're so pretty. I'm going to go in with this little brush from Real Techniques and take some of natural peaches under my eye. Smudge that out along the lash line. I think I'll go in with Uncommon towards the outer corners and just add some more darkness there. So to add a little highlight into the inner corners, I'm going to go in with Gator Rings just on my ring finger. And just pop that into the corner. This one has some, I think it has a little bit of glitter in it. I tried using it as a highlight on my face the other day, and there was kind of glitter all over my face, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for that, but it is a beautiful gold champagne color. So like I said, I'm going to go in and add another blush color, and I'm going to use the blush in the Graveyard Girl palette The does this really work. So I'm just going to go and set that, what we have so far right now, with this Urban Decay setting spray and all-nighter. Now I'm going to go in with the another new product I just got at Ulta, the Cabrow Brow Gel Cream from Benefit, and I really like this. So far, I've never tried a brow gel before, so I was a little nervous getting one, but I wanted to try something new, so I picked up this baby. And it comes with a little pot of the gel cream, and it also comes with a little brush in the lid. I think that's what sold me, because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on two separate things. I didn't want to spend, like, you know, 20, 30 bucks on a brow gel when I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or use it a lot and like 20 bucks on a brush, so two in one, pretty awesome. I'm just gonna take the little spoolie brush from my ColourPop pencil and brush my, li my lids, brush my brows out real quick. And then I'm gonna start filling these in a little bit. And I love this because you don't need a lot of product also, so I feel like this is going to last forever. Alright, so there's our brows done. Pretty easy, not a lot of product needed, so that's awesome. So since we're just doing like a natural look today, we're not going to do any lashes. I'm just going to do my usual lash routine, which is just going in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational. First, I always go in with this guy first. I probably bought this like at least 15 times already. I always go in with this one first. Maybelline, I love their mascaras. So just going to curl my lashes real quick.
Sorry if my mirror's in the way. I always get up close and personal when I'm doing this. Alright. So lashes are curled. I'm going to go in with a couple coats of this. This mascara is really nice for like separating the lashes. It doesn't get super clumpy. That's why I always use this one first because it really gets a nice like few... I always use like three coats of mascara. Um, but it gets a nice base coat on your lashes and really nice makes them like nice and separated. So there's one eye done. So just going in with a Q-tip and just once the mascara has dried, that's when it's easiest to get rid of it. Here we are. Oh, I've got a lot on my nose. So, let that dry a little bit, and I'm going to curl again, just real quick so it doesn't stick to my lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara. I was at Ulta a couple weeks ago, and this was on sale for like 10 bucks, so I figured, what the heck, I've kind of always wanted to try it, so it seems like a good time. And I've been using it quite a bit, so, nice big wand. mascara on the lower lashes. I don't think, I don't know if I want to do lips or not. I feel like if I do lips then I will like feel uncomfortable but I really want to get out of my comfort zone wearing lipstick. <sighs> Guys, what do I do? What do I do? Should we just go for it? We just go for it? I think we're just going to go for it. So, I'm going to go in with my Essence Lip Pencil in, in the nude, and just line all over, and I'm going to fill in too, just with this color all over the lips. Alright, so there's our lip liner done, and I've even gone out before with just this on. It's such a nice, such a nice color. I love it. So I'm going to go in with Lace Detail, the NYX Laundry. Now that that's done, I'm actually going to go in and curl my lashes one more time. Hopefully, it won't be too sticky. Alright, so there's most of our look done. Pretty simple. You can wear this, you know, during the day. You know, make it a little darker for nighttime. But I just wanted to do something simple today, but amp it up a little bit, I guess. Went out of our comfort zone, added a lip color, even though it's really nude and really like neutral, something different for me. I don't always do lip colors, so. Alright guys, so that is our finished look. I just brushed out my hair a little bit, teased it, and then when I was doing that, I added a little bit of the Mary Luminizer again there on our cheekbones and right on our cupid's bow. But other than that, that's our finished look. So, hope you like.